Uh, Tony, commiserations, uh, episode 18, the review of Boxing Day. Mate, I don't know how do you say in Japanese, it was a fucking disgrace, but it was a fucking disgrace. How are you feeling after a pretty oh, irresponsible gutted. effort from us? Yes, it was. We're absolutely gutted. I mean, we could, we could have realistically had the quaddy. We should have had the quaddy. Right. Might, because we should have... We might you know, talk about that a little bit later, Tone. I think if you go back to the rundown... Right. ...that we spent hours on... <laughs> Just, <laughs> don't get too far ahead there, Tony, big boy. Just calm down. Oh, what a yeah. bit this... Oh, we didn't even put up. We didn't even make a slide of it. This is how bad we're going, mate. Um, I'm that. I'm that desperate. I'm drinking no sugar, buddy Coke. That's what oh, I'm doing. That'll make your daughter very happy because I know she polices mm. her a bit with the sugar. That's how bad I'm going. Um. All right, yep. mate. Let's get into it. What did we miss? Well, we missed something straight away last night in uh, sunny Weatherby. Uh, race number one. We're going to oh, hand yes. Who wins? Look at that. Unbelievable. Oliver's Island right there. Why would we, right back, there. Why would we back Oliver's Island, Tom? Especially being my birthday month, and my birthday's the 14th of December as well. Like, you know, why, why would anyone in their right mind not back? Uh, why would anybody back it, you know? Well, the great man himself... I don't think anyone knows our loyal 21 subscribers, Tony. Don't know your full name, mate. So you might have to say, big boy, that my, that's my name. That's my name. There you go. Oliver. Oliver. Family right. name there. There we go. So we missed that, one. Uh, missed that one. Missed that one. I missed one in uh, WA in the walkaway cup, the time-honoured walkaway cup. Um, my favourite job. She got on the, the Hall of Fame the other day. She's a little curious. She did. Um, this is a black booker of mine. I, I don't know, understand. Well, I don't know why it says add the black book because it's already in there, but she absolutely brained it, mate. She was uh fourth the whole way, one back on the rail. Unbelievable. If she was a Beautiful trotting, spot. she'd be looking for the sprint lane. She went to the outside, powered away one by one and a half lengths. Great little drift on the price. Personally, should have been the Pez's push. I should have waited until uh. Sunday for my best. But anyway, we had a crack. Um, you know, we're sending everybody broke. Um, fair enough. Uh, we didn't make a slide, though. We didn't make a slide, though, Tone. There was a winner in race five in Sydney. Do you remember who that was? Oh, we're not going to go there, are we? Well, I didn't oh. even make a slide. I didn't make a slide. I was too embarrassed. Well, the moronic... But the uh, race caller got it all wrong too, coming down the uh, down the straight, didn't he? Big yeah. boy Roy, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go, big he boy Roy. Called him bad boy, bad boy, big bad yes. boy Roy or bad Roy or big bad, bad Roy. Roy. Or he got bad Roy big, boy, he said. That's it. He stuffed it all up. What he was a like confu bad Roy confused. Boy, but it's big boy Roy. Yes, that's it. Gutsy run. Gutsy run. Why not? Um, old Frosty. We actually tipped the Quinella. If, if you if you look back on our yes. um, uh, Friday show, our Christmas Day extravaganza, because I said Old Frosty, Old Frosty Rocks is going to be up there, and uh, the big boy just got straight over the top of him. Just um, with you know around twenty thirty to go, we just got the best, better of Big Frosty. Uh, the Quinella wasn't yeah. bad. Paid about six dollars fifty, but. I know how you love to back up. I know you're a homeless phobic because they come. Um, I know you love to back up, but you didn't back up. No, didn't. No. I was concerned about the track. I thought the soft, they get any more rain or, or, or whatever, you know, they might scratch him again. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, there you go. Look at the price, 450 as well, too. Like, so yeah. I did mention him. I did mention him, but. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't. I wonder if they're a rain man in the channel. Oh, well, Barney! I wonder if Barney got on. I don't know. Probably. Well, Barney be on. Um, so anyway, uh, let's get uh, into it. Let's let's follow up with some more um, uh, some more bad news here, mate. Um, episode seventeen, absolute pathetic. No cash. Twist of fury. Tones titanium tip. What happened there? 
had nothing. Uh, about as useful as, uh, you know, yeah. it was in more trouble than a bunch of vegetarians at a beef growers barbecue. Right. Basically. Right. Absolutely putrid. Nothing in the tank. No, it wasn't a bad ride either. I think Jamie gave it a good sit, but for some reason she sort of sat down on it and, uh, I don't know. It was just a weird, it was a weird ride. It was a weird race. Um, the zoo shack or whatever they think, Zash shack, or whatever, that ran down the outside like it was, uh, the money was on. And uh, That's yeah. it, yeah. That was yeah. pretty well punted. You know, they ended up just about equal favourites, I think, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. close too. Yeah. And then uh, the Swift 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 Swift. Uh, Matawa, what the fuck. Absolutely ridden upside down by Tommy Sherry. Um, in all of its wins, it's sort of taken a set and come home over the top. And uh, he actually did the trial for me. He, in the trial, it actually led and won. And for some reason, Tommy Sherry uh, tried to lead on it, then took a sit back and he was cooked. He was done. Yeah. So, um, I'm not too sure if it's up to Saturday class, to tell you the truth. It might be more of a... Provincial horse, or um, on a Wednesday, maybe in Sydney. I don't know. I don't know what was going on there, but young Tommy yeah, Sherry uh, wasn't his real. Maybe he doesn't know the horse that well, but you know, he rode Frosty Rocks pretty well. He was on big, oh, big, big bad Roy. What's it called? Big boy Roy. Big boy Roy. Yeah. Big boy Barney. Big boy Roy. Big boy Barney was probably on. Probably had a little bit, a uh, little bit of a uh, uh, sneaky one on there. So Jamie had a good Sunday, I think, didn't she, Tone? You were telling me that she rode three winners on the Sunday and the Saturday she wasn't... Yeah, well, she, she did. Was on she was that really good horse at Ayrton or... Gee, that looks right. like... Awesome. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they were backing that with their ears pinned back, weren't they? And then Critty and... All over that, like, white on rice, 150 yeah, or something. Was that's right. Sure Little Byra, she rode a peach on strong art in the Black Booker. I uh, don't think everyone would be terrible about that because I didn't put it up in the, in the uh, Facebook group either. Um, Ooh. No, we were a bit hung over, weren't we? We were a bit hung up. We were a bit dodgy we yesterday because we had a big Saturday with um, the Nippon Cowboy found us. And uh, um, <laughs> we now know who it is. So, anyway. <laughs> uh, thanks, Nippon. Uh, I don't know why you left at 6 o'clock, but uh, maybe the, the way that me and Tony ended up at about 10 o'clock in a yakitori shop in the middle of town, probably we should have been the same. Um, Barney. <laughs> Get stuck. Get stuck. <laughs> There's Barney. There I can, he is. I can watch that all day, Tony. It just loops, Tony. Just loops. I love it. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> the quaddy, as we said, we got the first winner. Um, great price. Hidden legend. It, uh, you know, we it actually paid about eleven bucks. Coming after a couple of scratchings. Um, big disappointment of the race was the favourite. That girl. Geez, that was a that was one of those rides where you go, geez, thanks for that, Stacky. Just have it too far back and not give it a chance to win. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That was a uh, shocking, a shocking ride. Terrible run. Uh, the next one we got pandemic, mate. Yes, we did. We did. That yeah. was a good win. It didn't look like it was going to get there, did it? Mm. It looked like it was. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But so got the job done. We're going all right. We're eleven bucks. We're in the middle of town in a park, watching on the iPhone. With, I'm leaning in, like making sure old pandemic gets there. Probably the omen bet of 2020, isn't it? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think William Thomas. I'm finally going to put a line through, mate. I think I've tipped it in three quarters. I think I wanted to put a bloody arrow through it, actually. Yeah. Gee, no good. If it, if it couldn't have ran the other day with Damien Frosty laying on, and it gave it got, got a peach, and uh, but anyway, pandemic way too good. As we said, Mystico, if you don't get on when it's first up, it's never going to win. Uh, pretty pretty bad ride. Uh, pretty bad run. Um, and then here we go. Um, I don't know what happened here. Tavid Ants, Oliver just rode it, you know, probably a pair or two back. Sort of screamed time well. Parody was a really big run by Jamie. Um, uh, really good run. But the big roughie of the field. <laughs> yes, yes, well, there you go. <laughs> uh, you know. No effort, had all effort. She was only beaten 1.7 lengths at, uh, I think she blew out to about 80 to 1. Uh, she let him up, 
She had a kick, but unfortunately, uh, defibrillate got over the top toe. Now, that's an omen uh, running double, isn't it? Oh, of course. Yes, well, we should have had that. Pandemic into uh, defibrillate. Yeah, we should have. Yeah. And Tabard Ends, by running as well as it did, just fucked me over with the Horobian. Horobian gets up when it's 11th in a row, gets up, done and dusted off the canvas, and old Tabard Ants all they had to do was win, and we got a nice little $5.65 double. Yes, yeah, it was there for the taking, but... But uh, Diary Damien just does his old little tricks again, doesn't he? Old Diary Damien, I'll just ride this like a fucking Muppet. No, I won't even give it a chance to win. Thanks, oh, Damo. Yeah. All over the place like an unlicensed dog. You know, like no good at all. So, defibrillate, when Paddy Payne brings them to town, they're usually going to run at a price, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, we missed that one, big boy. And in the last, we're a bit tough, old hard and tough by Damien Thornton, come third at $5 a place. It actually blew out. And yes. um, yeah, we, we were no good. We, we, we didn't get the last anyway. We were influential girl at a great price by, I love the MD cock uh, for little Lockie King, our favourite from Johnny Get Angry. Um, what did the Cordy pay, mate? I think you knew. About 31, didn't it? Mm. I think it was pretty massive. It was massive. 31,000 we've missed out on, you know. Um, well, it wasn't Influential Girl, it was a Takumi. Influential Girl was come second. Sorry, Tone. Yeah, I was just going to say, we should have had the last winner as well, shouldn't we? Because yeah. Japanese name. But, of course, uh, we're too smart to have put that in. Yeah. Uh, a Takumi for Johnny Allen. Probably one of the best jocks in Australia, isn't he, really? He can win at any is. price. Yeah. And... Uh, Takumi's like a, a name, isn't it, over here? Like fucking Steve or Mark or, or Chad or yeah. or even Jason. It's a pretty uh, popular boy's name. So we should have been all over that. Um, Lockie King was second on Influencer Girl. And then, of course, Hard and Tough. That's what uh, all the people there at the stand-up for the Nippon Cowboy are, aren't they? They're all hard and yeah, tough. Hard and tough. They're all tough men in there where the... Uh... The Nippon Cowboy uh, hangs up his guns there every Saturday afternoon for a session. So we talked yep. about the Twist of Fury. Absolutely weird fucking race to watch. Please check out the replay. Um, for some reason, when Jamie was going to pop the button, there was no button to pop. Yeah, I wouldn't... Uh, I'd definitely put a line through that. That's, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have another crack at that again. It was under no. more pressure than uh, wine stealers' fucking uh, work shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, if those buttons come off and hit someone, I'll be, you'll be up on an assault charge. Oh, the mate. power would just come straight off that shirt okay. and knock someone out. How's old wine stealer, ladies and gentlemen? You know, we organised to go for a bit of a Boxing Day drink at about three o'clock at a pub in town during a pandemic where we need the defibrillator. We probably saw a few Takumis too. Um. See what I did there, Tony? I just threw a few legs yeah. of the quaddy into a story. Yes, yes. Yeah, old but wine stealer, our pommy mate, was it? A fat prick. He was supposed to come out and have a drink with us, but of course, he said he was having a mare, wasn't he? He was having a mare. Having a mare. He was having a mare, wasn't he? He was having a mare. <laughs> this is how the fuckhead talks like. He talks like a fucking retard, doesn't he? Man, oh, oh, but, uh, you know, anyway, the prick. He didn't even come out with us. He went out to fucking the beaches and trying to be uh, like a young kid with all these 25-year-old university people. A rock star's yeah. out there amongst all the... Oh, uh, yeah, he's oh, a winner. He is a fucking rock he's spider, isn't he? I reckon he'd go to Thailand and knock off a few young boys too. That's the type of prick this is. <laughs> fucking rock spider. Oh, anyway, we, we're not that upset about that, are we? we, we don't, we, we've let that go through to the keeper. Yes, yes, that one's gone through. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pesa, oh, matter what, you can go fuck itself. Thanks, Tommy <laughs> Sherry, for nothing. And, of course, Tavern Ants and the Horobian, I thought I was stealing money there. And, uh, yeah, our $4.95 fill-up was uh, no fill-up at all. So, Tone, basically, uh, it was a shocking Saturday for us, really. Um, Cordy fucked. Titanium tip fucked. Um Pez's dispensers fucked. Uh, the multi was fucked. And then Big Bad Broy or whatever the fuck it's called wins. 
Oh, yeah. Big boy Roy, big boy Roy. Of course, he wins, you know, like uh, Scratch the week before. I was reluctant to put him in this week. And, of course, that's when he wins, you know, pays 450 yeah. unfortunately. Uh, I, hope some, I hope some of our, or all of our uh, subscribers out there um, didn't take any notice of uh, me not putting it in as a titanium tip and hope they backed it mm. because, uh, you know, that's... I think I realised, I think I'm learning as we do this show, but I, I, I didn't like anything Saturday, absolutely nothing, except the Horovian and probably Tavid Ants, but I'm not going to tip you the Horovian when it's going for 11 in a row at $1.70. Like, fucking hell. Um, Skate the Paris was really good at 20s. Uh, nearly got there. But anyway, yeah. um, I should have waited for Sunday for old Kyra in the old uh, the, the walkabout whatever the fucking cup it is, the, the time on it. Um, I probably realised Saturday I was looking for a tip where I couldn't find one. And then Sunday there she was, just one out, my old black booker there, just staring right at me in the face. And Hindsight's yeah. a wonderful thing, isn't it? Well, I think Hindsight. I've learnt, Tone, that maybe next time if I don't have anything to tip on a Saturday, I won't. And if there's one going around Sunday, I'll tip that. So it might be the way yes, to go. Yeah. Wise move, mate. Yeah. It's all about the winners. But unfortunately, we couldn't deliver this weekend. We just couldn't deliver. All right, then. Um, not much more to say. Pretty fucking pathetic. Yes, yes. All right. Very all. Pull your socks up. And uh, <laughs> we've got to get back into it this weekend. I don't know where we are this yeah, weekend. Man. Look, that's how disappointed we are. But I suppose it's a New Year's Day, you know, the New Year's Day races. Will be, uh, something will be going on. I think the Perth Cup, isn't it? New Year's Day, isn't it? Or the Is second? It? Yeah. Whatever. We'll be having a crack, we'll get back into it, and we'll uh, we'll jump up in the saddle again. Yeah. And uh, try to, de to uh, deliver the goods. Well, all we're going to do is remember is, um, you know, we're just going to get Jace a new pair of shoes, really. Um, that's it. He needs a new pair of shoes. That's all we're trying to do. New pair of shoes for the big man. There he is. There he is. <laughs> yeah. He's a new pair of shoes. There he is. There he is. There he is. There's the great man. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. All right, Tony, thanks for uh, coming for a pretty shitty review. We're all a bit flat, aren't we? Yes, we are. Flat as a bloody pancake. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyway, happy New Year's, and uh, hopefully, you see you guys. Hopefully, we're still around. We haven't caught the rain, and uh, we're still going around uh, the end of this week. And hopefully, we can load up and tip you into a couple of big boy Roy's. Yes, certainly. We'll do our best. We'll do our best. All right, mate. Merry Bring Christmas. Happy yeah, New Year. Christmas. Happy New Year to all. And as our mate Barney says, get stuff. Ha, ha, ha.